Got a blind out there like you've never seen. Folks, on today's show, we're going to be just a little bit south of Memphis, Tennessee, up in Tunica, Mississippi. Now, Tunica used to be just a big old open cotton field, nothing there, no people. They turned it into a gambling mecca up there. But one of the things that it is, it's the home of the duck hunting legend, Nash Buckingham. Nash hunted there most of his life in an area up called Beaver Dam Lake. Now, Beaver Dam is something that everybody, every duck hunter, especially an, uh, an enthusiastic duck hunter, one that likes the old traditions the old ways, it's something you want to mark off your bucket list. So come on, join up with us today. We're going to head up the Blues Trail, Highway 61, up to Tunica. We're going to camp out in one of those old rusty, uh, uh, what do you call those things? Casinos. We're going to be in the casino. We're going to be living large for the next couple of days. We're going to be hunting with Tommy Akins, a buddy of ours, going to Beaver Dam Lake, Beaver Dam Hunting Club, eating at the Blue and White Cafe. It'll be something to see. Y'all come on, join us. So I'm heading to the Monroe Airport to pick up Nate, Nitro Nate Metcalf, our cameraman. He's a Tennessee Vols fan, by the way. We're gonna drive through I-20, hit, hit Vicksburg, Mississippi, head up 61 down the Blues Highway. It's Wednesday afternoon, about uh, 2.30, and we are in Mississippi, heading to Tunica to meet up with our good buddy Tommy Akins, who's put us on a trip with some guys that hunt the Beaver Dam. It's a historical cypress swamp around Robertsonville, Mississippi. So we went to, uh, went to work this morning there at Mojo until about lunch, loaded the truck up with some, with some product we're gonna film on this trip. So we've been driving about two hours fixing to meet up with Mad Dog Morgan and Tommy Akins there in Tunica. And then we're going to meet Mike and some guys with uh, the Beaver Dam Hunting Club. Like I say, this place we're going to is a historical cypress swamp. It's uh, beautiful. I've never been there, but we tried to go on this trip last year and we got froze out. Ice storm come through, froze everything, locked it all up. So this is really round two of this beaver dam trip. So hang tight and let's see how this thing shakes out. We got about three more hours of driving and we're gonna meet up with Mad Dog Mississippi Morgan and Tommy Akins out of Tennessee. So we're coming in from all directions. Stay tuned. A little gauge comes up on the uh, odometer saying right rear tire low. So we pull over, no doubt it's low. Drive it a little bit further until we find a convenience store, put about four bucks in the air compressor, shoot as much air as we can put in the tire, and then we're plugging to meet Mike. Here we go all of a sudden. Guess what? Blowout. <laughs> So we get our flat fixed, we're about an hour and a half late. We pull up to Harris, we're meeting uh, Mad Dog Morgan and T-Bone, Tommy Akins, who set us up with this hunt, by the way. So uh, we check in, get all our gear inside. Did you take that hook off that door? I don't know. I don't know about to be in your room and kidnap you. Kidnap me? Yeah. Yeah, that'd bring me back. <laughs> We slide over to the, uh, one of the casinos to eat us a good uh, buffet at Paula Dean's. Y'all may have heard of her, she's not doing well right now. <laughs> Folks, we got up next morning, went over to the Blue and White. Now this is where all the guys and the outfitters meet up every morning. Chuck Smart, Joey Hale. Hey man, good to meet you. Chuck, Lamar Boyd, hey, Mike, Mike, Mike Morris, Joey Hale. Buckingham ate here. They'd go in and get a cup of coffee, some of them big old cat head biscuits. Drink 10 or 15 cups of coffee. Man, that's good blue and white coffee. I 
That's an old coffee. That coffee's been around since 1937. After we get, uh, get you know, full, get enough coffee in us, we'll head on over to the blind. Doesn't take 15 minutes from the cafe to get in the blind. We'll be out in a big old cypress swamp, Tupelo gum, cypresses. Got a blind out there like you've never seen. Big old huge blind, you drive your boat right up under it, get out in there, they got a, got a kitchen down on one end, cooking coffee, cooking up some breakfast, and it won't be long before we're gonna be whacking them mallards. Here, all we need now is a few ducks. Can you hear me, Mike? What's that? I said the only thing y'all miss is a Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're getting to it. <laughs> we're gonna do some ducking this morning. Perfect. One main channel would control a mallard machine. This channel, you can have uh, three or four mojos on it. They've got a off time, a run time, and a speed cycler on it.
me treat me <laughs> I'm too old for that. <laughs> He's got a call first. This has been a, uh, just an absolute treat up here hunting at the Beaver Dam. What is it? Uh, Beaver Dam Lake? Yeah, Beaver Dam Hunting Services. And uh, you know, we get an opportunity to travel all over the country with, with Mojo TV. and. You know, we were scheduled to come up here last year, and right. what happened, Tommy Tommy set it all up. Yeah, the, the water the ice. Got, got too high and scattered all the birds. And then yeah. I think the ice storm, so we put it off, but this year we were able to come up here and you say it, hunting all over the places we have, this is one of the historical and nicest cypress swamps I've ever been in. Well, sure. thanks. Well, we're glad to have you here. And this blind's just immaculate. You got, you know, I don't know, how 40 foot long, and <laughs> boat shed, and shooting holes, kitchens. It's as far as class. Tommy's been talking highly about it, and we've been excited to uh, finally show up and make a good hunt. But this is a, the gadwall were phenomenal. Yeah, they in were. This hole. They were. It was uh, one of the most ideal weather conditions, yeah. of course. But you know, we managed to work a few groups in and, and uh, get a little shooting, so it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it rained a little bit, a little sprinkle tight, and right. we've got a real low ceiling right here. And the ducks, you know, on days like this, they. When they're flying low in that ceiling and they see your decoys and these mojos, sometimes it kind of spooks them and yep. they work they it around, work it around and they bug out. But we, right. we managed to, to shoot, a, I don't know, about 20 of them, didn't it? Yeah, we did. Sure did. So Everything so. considered is a super shoot. Oh, great shoot. We finished up this hunt, got finished up, went back to the house, cleaned the ducks up, got us a good lunch, and Tommy wanted to take us over to this uh, museum right on the banks of the Mississippi River. Now this, uh, this museum had flooded the year before but they've gotten it fixed back up. It's just got a beautiful view. Got some rocking chairs and big old lounge chairs sitting out on the deck. You can sit there and watch the barges go up and down the Mississippi. We went in there and they've got, they've got the whole history of the Mississippi River. Show you just what it was like. Some of the people that lived on the river, the Indians, they've got videos, they've got just movies, they've got displays. A lot of the wildlife that lives up and down the river, they got an aquarium there. It's got the fish in it. Blue cat, tabby cat. Something that was pretty exciting to see. I know this is uh, Mississippi Tourism Bureau has got a lot to do with this, and Tommy works with them real close. He just wanted to show us what Mississippi has to offer. Good stuff here. We got up the next morning, day two of the hunt. It's going to be our last day. Same thing, it's just a routine up there. You go to the Blue and White Cafe first, get your coffee, get cranked up when, uh, you know, talk about what happened the day before. We went back, got in the car, drove up and got in the truck, drove up to the boat landing. Within five minutes, we were in the blind, had all the decoys already out. We had to adjust the mojos just a little bit, get them all laid out, get them ready. And Mike and Boyd told us it wouldn't be just a minute. Hopefully today was going to be a few more mallards. Morning of day two. Get up, still got a little drizzle, you know, overcast morning. We're climbing the blind, like I say, everything's set up, coffee's brewing. Man, we're just sitting there waiting on daylight. D-Bone? Kill the boat. You're all over it, dude. I never fired a shot. Man, hunting with you, old fella. Ain't got to buy me any shells. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you shoot that one? Yeah, too. I didn't shoot. I didn't fire a shot. That was it? That was the second bunch of the the higher ones. Wow. We'll take it. The end up are kind of spooky. Start hearing some wings and some quacking. And the sun starts popping up, and guess what? The mallard shoot was on. Yeah. 
Giddy up, baby. Last breeding pair. <laughs> Mallards. We had a little break in the clouds that day, and every time the sun come out, the mallards came out. We had a great shoot that day. Mallards, more mallards than there were gadwalls. But, you know, it's just something you just kind of got to take what's there. There was wood ducks up there, gadwalls. We saw a few weeds in, but the main thing was the mallards and the gadwall. We had a great hunt. We had a great time up here the last couple of days. The weather wasn't perfect. It was hot, but we killed a lot of ducks, and that's what it's all about. Mike, I enjoyed it, buddy. I did too. Thank you, Mike. Anytime, anytime. Mark. Yes, sir. Appreciate you know, it. I put on a good show here. It's a, it's a classic southern duck hunt right here. Cypress swamp, great blind. Got a kitchen right here in the blind. Comfortable, easy to get to. Step in the boat, motor right here. Step right into the blind. You can wear tennis shoes. I'd like to thank Tommy Aiken for inviting us up. You know, if any of y'all would like to go to, to the Beaver Dam Hunting Club, give uh, Mike and Lamar Boyd a ring. You can go to mojooutdoors.com, go to the Outfitters page. We'll have all their information there. That's the easiest way to find it. You ain't got to remember any, any websites or anything. Just go to the Mojo website. And like I say, Beaver Dam Hunting Club, all their information will be there. Give Mike and Lamar a call. They'd love to hear from you. It's a great place to hunt, and it's something you definitely want to mark off your bucket list. You know, I've been, I've hunted all around the world, but it's just the thought of hunting in the shadow of Buckingham. It's something a little special. It's not something that everybody in the world, very few people in the world have gotten to do, but it's available to you. If you'd like to do it, give them a call. They'd love to hear from you.